Clash promotes men beating women confirmed. I know it doesn't seem like it, but someone brought to my attention that it looks like the Barbarian King is punching the Archer Queen right in the face. And not only that, he's using his gauntlet, therefore it's more power because there's metal on his fist. And he said, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And he is right. Every time I open this game, that is the first thing that comes to my mind, is that the Archer Queen's getting it right on her cheek. We'll start off today by doing some donations, of course. Putting the Builder Apprentice towards nothing because I have no build is doing anything because they think it's acceptable to take time off when we have a base to max out and i can only afford walls of course i'm not sure why it doesn't show me that i can spend elixir on walls it kind of just leaves me to figure it out myself can somebody in the comments let me know if they get something other than free glowy ore in the shop holy crap two million gold and two million elixir five wall rings as well we're getting so much loot for doing nothing i think i can upgrade a cannon right no i'm just a bit short <laughs> Oh, look at his pal. I don't like that. I don't like that he just did that to me. Oh, they had so much potential. I mean, the physique is nice, but his face, they kind of ruined it with his face. Looks like we're going to buy it, but not buy it here with the Supercell store. I was also told by someone in the comment section that apparently in the anime scenery that there's a barbarian in the bottom right corner. The bottom right corner trying to go super sane. I'm pretty sure his power level is over 9,000, not that base. This is just proof that the barbarian is better than the archer. Screw all you stupid kids in the comments that are trying to convince me that the queen's better, that the archers are better. No, you're wrong. You guys are dumb. I think it's pretty clear who's better now. He's trying to, he's literally going super sane. And you don't see an archer doing that. I think I got to buy the scenery just because of that little detail right there. $5.99 for two books. I might get that as well. I think it's going to get to the point where I shouldn't now save up books for town all 16 you know what i'm gonna stack up items now i think now's the time i still got a lot to do before we max out town all 15 but i think it's gonna work out for us in the long run if we just start saving up now because we still have tons of dark elixir to spend on pets in the queen alone i like the grass though it looks nice with the base but this is the most important part he's not like the others he's better than the others look at he's doing something useful with his life you have people fishing for nothing barbarians pulling their pants down in front of the skeleton the archer is talking to every single guy imaginable on this planet. Local citizens looking at the giant stick. And then you have the one that's trying to make himself the strongest version of himself. It just doesn't look like it belongs in the game. And his running animation is very stupid, I must say. All right, guys. Well, what are we going to do today? I think we can actually start upgrading another pet. It's going to end up being Frosty. Frosty and Lassie are going to cost the same amount. But Frosty is the better one, unfortunately. You think Lassie would be doing a ton of damage because it's in the same family as the Pekkas, which hit like trucks driving straight into a little Toyota. But no, they don't do that much damage. It's not really that good of a pet. Are you almost done? Are you about to leave soon? Wait, what is this? Mirror clone technique. Oh, well, I can only take gems from the challenge I completed a while ago. For some... What the heck? I've seen these troops because, okay, yeah, just ignore the elixir storage. Unless you're a defensive targeting troop, I thought for sure you were just like a Pekka and would go for anything. Wow, not one single swing. He's terrible. He sucks. He's really weak. What the heck? This thing better not be more than four space with damage like that. He's terrible! What does this Teen Titans Raven looking character do? I don't know. Okay, yep. Another one that avoids doing something useful with her life. She spawns a bunch of sonic spirits. I've never seen those ones. These are quite interesting. I don't know what they do other than just crap a bunch of blue turds across the whole map. So pretty much in summary, they are yetis that fly, but they're a thousand times worse. I've seen this P.E.K.K.A. thing because of leaks. One of my friends showed me and I thought it was fake and bull crap, but no, it's real and he's terrible. So uh, this does probably confirm that there's going to be an event shortly. Clan War League's also going on and I have not done my attack for the day yet. Thank God he sucks. We destroyed this clan. But that's probably because I went up against a player like this. Am I proud of the way this guy plays Clash? Absolutely not. The only thing I can respect is that his king's a higher level than his queen. It means nothing when all the playtime comes from your three-year-old brother. So yeah, that was my opponent, and obviously he got crapped on. And this is my next victim. Pay pays 555 does not pay enough money to make sure that his base is good enough to withstand people like me. I accidentally clicked the button, so my mouse is really sensitive right now, and I might throw the game. Well, I think I'm okay. Yes, okay, we destroyed all the main defenses for the most part. Why is my mouse so sensitive? 
What the heck? Okay, I fixed it. Oh no. Two ice golems. We're about to get shoved deep up hers. That's actually not that good though because the balloons are probably going to kill her, but whatever. I'm just going to use her ability because now I'm kind of scared and then deploy the rest of the dragons and dragon riders and the king's going to go in this corner. Wow, she took out all of it. I thought for sure she was going to kill... Oh, the champion! I thought for sure that the ice golems were going to sh get shoved deep up hers so then she'd be frozen and then after that the balloons would just kill her in one hit because, you know, she can't withstand any force. She could get punched by like a three-year-old in the stomach and then she'll just get knocked out and the unicorn will have the same effect too if the toddler were to punch the unicorn they both just die look at her just attack the wall look at how sad she is and she has to attack another wall to get to the clan castle did you see that there was a seeking air mine i'm pretty sure that was a seeking air mine that was gonna go right into the baby dragon baby dragons are magnets towards the seeking air mine wow this guy sucks he couldn't even three star me and he's a higher town hall he has max troops if he uses a power potion and a hero potion and he still couldn't beat me <laughs> that's why he couldn't beat me because there's people that still use electro dragons i'm not a pro player i never claim to be i shouldn't say that i claim to be good at this game because i am one of the best players of all time but i know i'm not really one of the best players of all time i i do suck for the most part but there's i just can't wrap my mind around the fact that there's people that still have fun using electro dragons he had a full maxed out army of electro dragons and that wasn't enough to three star a town hall under him he deserved to lose to me by far just because of hero levels it's just so sad i don't i really don't understand i feel awful for all the barbarian kings that are mistreated across clash of clans globally it's not fair you get the king first and he gets the worst treatment you get the queen two town halls later and she still gets better treatment. It's just so sad. I feel nothing but sadness for the king. And then she always dies first, too. She's like 30 levels higher, and she died before the king did. What a sorry loser. We got 12 people in the clan that have perfect attacks, meaning there's 15 people in first place because everybody has gotten a perfect score. I hate giving out bonuses because you can only give it to such a little people, even though everybody does a good job. Or not everybody, but a lot of people do a good job. I mean, I already know uh, Jaden always gets a bonus because he's a very, very helpful player. But other than that, it's pretty hard to balance the rest out anything special going on over here probably not because when does that ever happen i think i got enough for two walls hopefully nope just one unlucky one bomb and that just about wraps it up i hate this stupid game said dwaggle knight i'm gonna guess that the bomb tower kills all of his archers no he actually gets it in further all of his archers just died. How the heck did that happen? I mean, yeah, I'd probably be crying at that point. Yeah, it's a sad feeling. I mean, you also did attack towards the air sweeper for some reason, so that part's on you. There's a nice opening over here. Dwaggle Knight hates this stupid game. For some reason, I'm deciding to go live on Instagram. It's always linked in the description if you are interested. Join up so I can put you guys in the video for a second. Wow, people saying nice stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should have expected that. Look, see, there's some people that aren't quite idiots. Someone just said the yak is superior. I don't know why I just did that. I was kind of bored. How come Sean is ranked higher than me? Is it alphabetical order? No, it can't be because I have an underscore in front of my name. Is he higher ranked than me in the game? No, because I'm not higher ranked than Plug Gold. I know that for a fact. What? Who, who decides the ranking when it comes to multiple first places? Who is Sean? I think... Wait a second, Sean is that one idiot who's investing capital gold into trees in the wildlife. Fuck this guy, how is he ahead of me in the war? And he's copying my army too, huh? I didn't even realize until editing the video right now, but this scumbag copied my whole entire base as well. Yep, he copied my army. My army. I made this army. I created this army. And he copied me. What's in his clan castle? Huh, that's oddly strange. If I attack one more person, I'll have enough gold. Yes, the perfect base as always. You've always got to love when they have their air sweepers pointed in the perfect directions. Ah! That was close. That was close. I got distracted because someone's calling me right now. I hate when the archers attack the king. There's no need for it because, unfortunately, the king can't hit air troops. But that's because he chooses not to hit air troops because he'd be an unstoppable force. He already is an unstoppable force, but if he could hit air troops, there'd be no point of even having an army because the king would be destroying everything in its path. I mean, he already does destroy everything in its path. This argument's stupid. I don't know why I keep talking about it. Let's watch the barb king and the yak for a moment. The yak is faster than the king. I don't understand 
understand why the king needs to run as long as he does. Like, what is he sticking his two fingers out? Is that what he does to aim where he's gonna attack with his long 30-foot sword like he's Cloud from Final Fantasy? Oh, uh, we didn't really get to see him much because everybody else cleaned it up pretty fast. We are getting closer and closer to done with Town Hall 15. Then you can get back to work after, again, you have to wash your hands. At least he didn't shove his hands down his pants this time, so that's a little bit better. I didn't train an army. That's very unfortunate. The Clash team themselves made this base. Well, we know what the obstacle is going to be for this event. A hero Brian Archer, because we have to give those new toddlers that are playing the game nightmares in a different way. I have a feeling that you're going to be able to get one of the enemy skins with the event as well. I hope it's the queen, and I'm saying that because it'd be more worth spending 10 bucks on the warden than it would the queen. Because the queen in game looks ugly as fuck frick in the anime style. I don't think I'm going to be figuring out this one on my own. Actually, I can. I'm just going to need a minute real quick. Three what? They don't come out till the 9th, which is two days from now. And I just got a glimpse of this. I remember seeing this in the leaks as well because surprises like to get ruined for me. How is that even fair? I think this just goes to show that women aren't good enough on their own. No, I shouldn't say it like that. My, I mean, in Clash of Clans, they're not good enough on their own. At least the queen. The champion can be good enough on her own. But the queen needs two other queens in order to be somewhat good. Isn't that kind of sad? You queen lovers aren't looking so good in the comments now, are you? And here's another reason to why it's not a good look. The Barbarian King isn't even in this challenge because if he was in it, he would destroy the base alone. Well, you didn't really get to see it because I was thinking really hard of how I can three-star this strategy and not watching a YouTube tutorial. But the freaking clone with the Archer Queen is overpowered! It's like having not a double pump, but a triple pump shotgun during Prime Fortnite in Season 4. Like, they destroyed Destroy the town hall and like two shots a town all 16 in two shots but yeah i easily three starred that one well what do i do now just wait two more days until the event starts because i don't know what else to do i think that's what's gonna happen therefore i'll be seeing you all momentarily Today's the update day, and on my co-leader's Instagram story, he got the League King skin, meaning Clan War League medallions have been handed out, <laughs> and if I didn't get a bonus... Hey there, you must be the chief around these parts, yeah. You mean our magical crystals, said the angry wizard, to build our glorious towers. Wizards! The magical crystals belong to all magic users. She's not happy now, and he is very nervous about the havoc she's about to cause. That's it, we're coming for you, you smug spellcaster... Hey, that's not nice. Stay away from our towers and don't even think about using our wizard vendor. Yeah, I know you have a thing against wizards, so you target all the wizard towers. I'm not sure what that's quite about. I think you just explained it, but I still don't understand. I don't know if I like that obstacle or not. I thought we were going to get an angry archer. Yeah, the hero Brian archer it was. Whoops, that was an accident. Oh, well, it looks like I have the event pass now. And a ton of other useful things just because I accidentally spent money on the game. The mecha is what it's called. Okay, I got to look at the stats. No bull crap at those two. 110 damage. Look how fast they destroy the wall, though. Th it. I swear they were terrible in the easily three-star base. This one right here just might be my least favorite event troop. Oh, my storage is full for shiny ore. Is the Hero Brian Archer somewhere later on in this? No. Or maybe it's in the shop. It's probably or in the trader. What the fuck is that? Ugh! It had to be a giant. It couldn't have been like I don't know, maybe a Valkyrie or an Archer. Okay, there's Hero Brian Archer, but I do like this pink tree as well. Hold up. How oh well. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't take my money until I actually placed the item. I really like that tree. I wish I can get more of them. I actually had a dream not too long ago where I found a bunch of trees like this, and it was very cool. I like that a lot. Gosh darn it. It's going to be another one of these. I don't know what I was expecting. Every event is pretty much the same. So if I get this, then I can get the giant structure and the mirror ability. But that requires a little bank transfer. Donate $5 to support a good cause. Frick no. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're going to do that. Every time that they ask, I do it. Except for that one time. Largest suicide prevention and crisis for L. GBTQ. I make my jokes, but I don't actually hate these people. Everyone has free will to do whatever they want. Here, I'll donate the five dollars towards this charity. Ten badoons, also ten gems. Wait a second, Clan War League. If I didn't get my bonus, oh, wait a second. Okay, he didn't give bonuses. Oh, I was about to have another freak out. I was actually probably gonna break something. Wait, how do I give bonuses? There we go. Six people got a perfect war, including Jaden. I knew he was gonna do it. All of these people probably would have as well. The other people have twenty stars, but the last clan was like the final boss. We beat them too. Holy crap! We won. We were at number three when I checked yesterday. Holy. 
crap! Wow, good job, Outskirt. That sounded very sarcastic, but no. I'm gonna give Sean one, even though he invests all of his money towards the freaking wildlife. And yeah, Jaden, he's been a huge help. Should I just give it to all the number one people? Yeah, all the number ones are gonna get it. And Attack doesn't need his bonus anymore, because I saw you purchase that skin. Who else should I give it to? Whoa, you can give it to a ton of people. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it to all the people that made it up here. Good job, clan. I'm very proud. Whoa, I never knew that there was a little metal thing that showed up in the shop area. Oh! One more and I can get it! You will be mine by the next month. I cannot wait. I look at this with a smile on my face because I know I'm going to own you sometime. Very, very soon. Soon come. Wait a second. They got the green goblin as a skin. He throws bombs. He's a goblin. He looks like the green goblin. That's very cool. I actually like that a lot. Well, better dump these armies because for some reason I fill up my camps even though I know there's going to be an event the next day. Oh, right. And we have to buy these things as well. Kawaii, kawaii, kawaii giant, I think that says. Oh, it only happens if you click on it. I thought it was going to have the animation forever. Wait, what? So if you click it, it stays over there then. Oh, so now it's going to be stuck in that corner. There's different poses you can do. I get it now. That makes sense. And now the magic Magic mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the worst hero of them all? We can only give it to one. Wait, who's it gonna go to? <gasps> The queen is the worst hero of them all? I couldn't have expected that even more. We got a ton of ores, though. We could probably get this to a very good level. Never mind. It's because the glowy ore always throws it. I want to say very good level, but we'll get it somewhere, right? Uh, no, but uh, yeah. I can buy some more here. Can I spend gems? Yes, I could spend gems. I'm spending 300 gems. Wait, I could do raid medals too. Okay, we're good. We got a ton. Maybe that wasn't even a ton though. Yeah, it wasn't really that much. Only enough for one more upgrade. Why is it so expensive? The shiny and starry ore never go down when you make upgrades. Oh, hey, Kieran. What's good? Where is the next troop? The broom witch. Uh, how far is it? It's not that close. I just don't understand why it targets wizard towers. And it's not like it does extra damage. It also is like a little slap on the wrist. If the broom witch and the wizard went on ground and had a fist fight, I guarantee the wizard would have her six feet below. She thinks she's about that, but she's really not. The wizard is the day one OG. That is so disrespectful to make an anime troop to target wizards. I am so happy we got first place in Clan War League again. Hey, another wall. Oh, let's go. Titan 3, even though I don't even think I attacked anybody. Oh, I won two defenses in a row. <laughs> of course I won the defense here. You know why? Because they're using all E-drags. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, you have to attack wizard towers and then you get the little... What are those? They're like pieces of candy. One E-drag died instantly because of the corner monolith. I think that is a peak position for the monolith. I'm not moving it. Yeah, this guy, he doesn't spread him out. He doesn't put the warden with him either. He probably doesn't care about three-starring the base and he just wants the event loot. Why does he have the yak with the royal champion? This guy just might be the dumbest player of all time. What town hall is he? Why doesn't he have a pet with his king? He's at town hall 15. Where's his pet house? Is it level 4? He could put a pet with his king, but is choosing not to for some reason. The bearded dragons. That's a clan name that'll have all your opponents running the opposite direction. Can I revenge him? You're so lucky. What about the joker? The joker's got a town hall 13. Barbarian king is probably, yep, a town hall 14. Wow. What a loser. 20 housing space too. I don't get it. It's like a lava hound, but way worse. That was very disrespectful to compare the lava hound to this stupid girl. This stupid Teen Titans raven sitting on a plunger, toilet plunger character. So basically what's going on right now is I'm just trying to wipe and flush this army because I want to use the, or I'm unfortunately saying that I want to use the new troops. While we're at it, what do you guys think were the worst event troops? Leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear your opinions. Even though I actually want to punch myself in the head five times as hard, maybe with like a 15 pound glove on sometimes because some people say the stupidest things but yeah let's hear them what do you think the worst event troops are i'm not gonna say these ones yet because i haven't really used them but i think those water rat dragons were pretty bad yeah i'm locking that in that's my final answer the firecrackers and the rat dragons i think are the worst sure i didn't really like the soccer ones they were kind of like dumb especially the giant but they were actually pretty cool for the most part especially those barbarians where you can just like apparently snipe from 50 tiles away to break something or maybe it's just me because i think i was talking a a lot of smack about those event troops and now that i look back at it i kind of miss it i guess it's just a lesson to appreciate what you have while you have it except for the water dragons and the firecrackers oh my gosh can i find a base please that has a decent amount of loot i can't do this one because i accidentally clicked on the gold mine this one's really weird he's got 14k dark elixir though i'm doing it so he's got an open hole here and all of his powerful defenses are in the same exact block if there's a giant bomb and a few little bombs here all my archers could be dead but there's not for some reason Oh, no. I'm just going to drop a warden ability, honestly. Dear.
dear god. Of course, the ability ran out just in time for it to kill the warden. I need to get rid of that warden skin. I don't know why I still have it on. Oh, uh, you're never going to destroy the scatter shot because the builder is somehow outbuilding you. What? What's even the point, Diggy? Retreat! You're not breaking it. Let's try out this queen, though. That was a really weird spell shoot. Oh, well, I don't have warden ability anymore, so that's cool. Wait, Diggy went up! Diggy did retreat eventually! No! I didn't see the invisibility tower, but we're fine. Because it's so awfully placed, and by so awfully placed, I mean the town hall. I want to see the clone ability. Oh, no, she's dead. She's dead. How much health does the clone have? Barely anything. Yeah. How can you make the Archer Queen even worse? Give it the clone ability. That's an epic equipment that costs so much glowy ore to upgrade. The King's Sword sounds very good. It's pretty hard to hear over the pets screaming and the dragons breathing and the yuck breaking walls. This is exactly how my clan war attack ended yesterday. There was like one more dragon alive and then the thing that came out on top was the barbarian king. Oh no, now they're gonna sit here and wait a second because they have nothing else to target. Doesn't matter, the king's on top with the yuck. You just, you gotta really think about how stupid people are when they say the king is the worst hero. He's the only one that I see clutching up every attack. The champion's very good too. I like her a lot as well. Way more than the queen, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep spending all my gold and elixir on walls because we still have way too many of them i don't really care about the cannons and mortars for now yeah because we only got two and four and we're gonna let the clan mates decide what gets filled inside my castle this guy needs 22 wall breakers for some reason get rich or die trying i mean yeah that's fair probably top three of the saddest gem donations inside the game but it's really cool though darn it i somehow have five book of heroes i don't even know how that got there i've been informed that there's a good strategy with the broom witches you could compare this to the pecker but it is only they no, can't targets defenses it also has a fast oh to spring traps being that it's 10 what easily smashes through walls that's why i still don't understand that stupid logic to where they can destroy walls very fast even though the walls have the highest hit points in the whole entire game other than the town hall i'm pretty sure no it has more than a town hall my bad i retract that statement so the auto bots including optimus prime himself he is strong enough to attack walls and to break it within three hits but a cannon eh, it takes a little bit more even though the cannon has like triple less of the health man this guy's got every single hero equipment maxed what the heck <laughs> that is so stupid overpowered i need to unlock that troop i need to do it today before they nerf that oh and the reason why i screamed what i think i said like earlier on was because these pekkas are able to die to spring traps because i really don't like whenever something that looks like that weighs as much as the titanic can just get blown up to the sky by a spring trap attack see look how weak it is and it's dying pretty fast to an archer tower where are you going oh to the other cannon of course oh my gosh how many does it take for you to ah the town hall is very low health. Please destroy it. Thank you. Wait a second. Maybe this troop's not bad at all. Because they're very fast as well. That's the other thing I notice about him. Is my king still alive? Of course he is. Why am I surprised? Wow, these things actually destroyed the base. Recall! And go over here to help clean up a bit. Wow, whoever gave me that recall spell came in clutch. Not gonna lie. And yeah, let's just clone the queen. You showed up a bit too late. Maybe those Pekkas aren't bad at all. Because there's a ton of them alive still. And they move very fast. If they didn't move as fast as they did, then I don't think I'd ever be using them. That's very lucky. We're close to the brew. Which kind of not really what's wrong with all these players nobody has enough money for me to steal <laughs> i'm sick of clicking the next button i wonder who i could have rated and i didn't rate Ooh, here we go onion noble or union noble sorry my bad tobias wait a second tobias tobias i remember you i don't know if you're the same one no surely not it's very unlikely god bless he would have a whole clan castle of bedoons well time to lure it out with the queen and then i'm gonna send in a bunch of these little robots to destroy the whole inside clone are two archer queens enough to destroy the balloons no they're not of course they're not because why would they be why would they be enough and then the king's gonna destroy the whole inside because the robots can't do it oh well yeah there's no way for the balloons to get destroyed now i just realized that where are you guys going oh my gosh the champion's the only one that took advantage of the rage spell can't use the ability yet because the warden's gonna shoot the fireball at probably a random mosquito in the sky but like what you're not even targeting that the phoenix whoa the egg landed right on the wall so one archer queen's not enough to stop a balloon but neither is two two can't do it as well ah 
Well, I got an army, so I gotta stop the recording for now. Actually, hold up. Before we do that, let's cop a wall upgrade right about here. All right, we have now unlocked the Broom Witch. And all we have to do for this strategy is just fill up the camp. But of course, we gotta wait for them to train, so I'm just gonna attack a random player. Yeah, I actually kind of like these P.E.K.K.A.s now. The Phoenix is such an overpowered pet. Oh, I didn't even use my Warden ability or the King's ability. Huge fireball play. That's what I was waiting for. I think it's time to gem the army because I don't really want to wait anymore. We're going to use this base for an example because they're a way better player than me. So you want to get rid of the wizard towers first and it only takes one to take out a wizard tower, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I guess those spirits do death damage too. Oh, never mind. It doesn't take one. It takes two. So you want to get rid of all the wizard towers. All right, so now hopefully you got a good amount left over. I have nine. That should be fine. Oh, I used the wrong hero equipment, unfortunately. But now all you have to do is just spam them all and then use your blimp. And then put all your heroes together as well. Oh, oh, and then, yeah, you have to use the warden ability, so then your blimp becomes invincible. So then what you want to do is just drop three clone spells. Or I got four for some reason. And then deploy the blimp. So now there's a bunch of balloons everywhere that just destroy everything. And then, yeah, use abilities whenever. For some reason, all the witches survived every single defense. Holy crap, that snipe was crazy. And then just clean up with your Barbarian King soccer ball. And that's how you three-star every single base. I wasn't supposed to have the fireball, though. I'm supposed to replace that with a rage gem. So let me fix that problem really quickly. And there is another problem. You have to change your awful Grand Warden skin as well to something better. Probably something like the Gingerbread Warden. That's beautiful. I'm very low on gems. I don't know how we did it, but we somehow have enough currency to get the Hero Brian Archer now. There we go. And she stays animated the whole time. You know, I actually really love like what they're doing with obstacles they're giving them more i think i'm gonna do one more raid and then end it there i want to find a max town hall 16 i wonder if that's even possible well this guy's actually pretty close right and uh, not necessarily his name should say bob rusher because he couldn't be bothered to upgrade archer towers and wizard towers what a scumbag this guy's got a lot of money i'm doing this one and this army's a guaranteed three star too so again you want to target all the wizard towers hopefully one is enough yeah what the heck why are there so many spirit they destroy more than a wizard tower too i don't know if she's gonna do it because she's got an air missile on her as well and an air sweeper yeah probably not well now the air <laughs> the air defense is gone now so oh for god's sake never mind frick that one i'm not uh, i'm not attacking that one i'm just gonna use the queen's giant arrow to get that last wizard tower because it's being never mind it doesn't even do enough damage whatever screw it we're just going all in now wait maybe the quakes can take it out nope because it keeps regenerating screw that i don't know what i'm doing all right but blimp and then this is the most important part you want to use the ability well, maybe I don't even need to use it. Never mind. We're good. And now we got a ton of balloons to destroy the hole inside. And then... What? I used the warden's ability and it didn't help the balloons? Wherever it was, I think it was this right here. This wizard tower was a real pain. But it doesn't matter because we still three-starred the base. What the heck is that noise? Is that Diggy? Yeah, that was Diggy digging. And there you go. That's how you three-star every base in the game for the next few months, I think. Maybe not a few months, but how long does this event go on for? Oh, 20 whole days. Yeah, you got 20 days to three-star any base you want in the world. And I think that's about all I have for you all today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for 64,000 subscribers. I got two walls as well. Hold up. All right, yeah, for real this time, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.